taking a vacation, most tourists require the service of a hotel. But the next time you visit one, check under the bed. Chances are, you're not alone. Come with us on a tour of the country's most haunted hotels, where being all booked up has a whole new meaning. We'll visit New Mexico's lodge at Cloudcroft and experience service that is out of this world. The basket with the grounds of coffee came flying at me all the way over here. And travel to the Drake Hotel in Chicago for an eternal dance with the lady in red. She just was standing looking through the glass door at us and then she turned and then disappeared through the wall. And at North Carolina's Richmond Hill Inn, there's a ghost of a chance you'll escape the clutches of the resident phantom. The lady felt as though something grabbed her ankle. From long expired innkeepers to those who died long before their time was due. It seems in a haunted hotel, you get a lot more than what you paid for. Even if you don't want it. The seasoned traveler, no six-year-old Rebecca, is walking and she's holding, it looks like she's holding someone's hand. And she's in her very beautiful white flowing nightgown and she's walking down the stairs and I said, Rebecca, what are you doing? And she says, oh, Rebecca came to the room, got me up and she's taking me on the stroll of the hotel. Does Rebecca long for a child of her own? Is she tied to the sight of her gruesome death? Whatever her reason for staying, just be sure to give your respects to the resident redhead at the lodge at Cloudcroft. The cost of ignoring her might not be worth the price you'll pay. Later, guests of North Carolina's Richmond Hill Inn may take home more than just memories. There is a presence so strong in this room I can feel it. I'm, I feel as if I'm going to, you know, bump into them. But next, palm trees and warm weather can't mask the terror going on inside this Florida hotel. It's like footsteps coming, walking along in the room and doors opening. Coming up, knowing death isn't the end.